Well, we're leaving the burn. Uh, Addie Bear, say hi. hi. <laughs> Addie Bear, Ava, Ollie, and I are leaving the burn. Amy's almost done. <coughs> we were a little late getting there today. It was raining. It's just a horrible day. You know, this year, just it just won't stop, will it? You know, you have COVID. Everything's screwed up for the whole year. You just couldn't leave us alone for Christmas. And you have a little snow, a little decent weather. No, no, it has to rain and be six and just be the most horrible miserable weather on earth i'll tell you what 2020 has been a trying year to say the least for you for me for our kids for everybody and i can't wait to put it behind us here in another week so um it is christmas eve it is a. Uh, it is uh has been a, as i said a difficult year but nevertheless i'll do my best not to let not to let it suck the life out of uh, out of our christmas we got our presents bought. I gotta rush home and wrap Amy's present. I'm gonna help. You're gonna help? No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, because you're terrible at keeping secrets. I'm not. No, I'm not. I never rob a bank with you, ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap, wrap Amy's gift, I'm and then, um, and then that's it for the Christmas season. Wake up tomorrow. Um, I know that we're not supposed to spend any time outside of our house, so we're not. And you know, I got a little tickle in my throat anyway, so. You know, in the past, it wouldn't be a big deal whatsoever. But, but this year, this year, the year of COVID, it is. You don't want that one now. I don't have any more filled ones left. You little booger. Okay, you can hold them. Uh, but this year, it's been a exceedingly odd, weird. You know, you get a tickle in your throat, a little cough. You're like, oh, I can't go anywhere. You're not really supposed to go anywhere anyway. You don't feel great. Stay home. Yeah. So uh, I waited until the end and I brought everybody coffee and donuts. Um, so, it, it, as I said, Christmas tomorrow. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you have a, a, a great Christmas day with your family. Um, I know I will. We're going to wake up tomorrow and celebrate Christmas, get something Hopefully to eat. Hopefully we don't wake up at 5 again. No, let me know waking up at 5. I'm locking my door. Locking my door until then 7. we'll just head downstairs. I'm going to put some police tape on um, so, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you have a great Christmas with your family. This will be a diff difficult week for me also. We have to go back to the barn on, on uh, Saturday, clean out the stalls a bit. Sunday, or no, nobody's going to work on Sunday, so the horses will start back fresh on Monday morning. I'd say very fresh. Now, this week is a little different for me because of the 28-day shutdown here in Ontario, which takes place... Uh, Chris, Boxing Day at 12.01. So 12.01 on the 26th. Don't do that, honey. Um, our horses are going to, some of our horses are going to be down. So I'm left for the last 24, 24 hours trying to figure out which horses are staying, which are going. Uh, we have some horses like Yes, who just qualified, who just raced. Uh, he is in to go at the Meadows on Wednesday, and I'm going there to drive him. Um, you know, if, if we're going to be down for 28 days, then... You know, I, I said the other day in a video, I, I was locked into that yearling stay at home, you know, grind kind of kind of attitude. And now I got to switch gears and go back to rat race, Anthony, where you got to run and tear and go here and go there and go home. So I think this week in particular, I'm going to get up early Wednesday morning. I know I don't like doing that, but I will get up early Wednesday morning, drive all the way to the meadows. I'm going to race Oso Pine, middle of the gate. Yes, got the two hole in the open, going for 16,000. They've combined that class with the non of 10. He looks pretty good in there. Uh, and then White Tiger will also race. I'm sure that Tim's got a horse or two for me to drive also. As soon as the card's over, back home. I'll leave probably Ontario at quarter to six in the morning. I'll be home at nine o'clock, maybe 9.30. So a long day for me, but nevertheless, I'll, I'll, uh, I've told you guys before, whatever it takes to make sure we do well, is fine with me. I was happy with the way Hunter Myers drove the horses last week and we would have relisted Hunter and I wouldn't have went. Hunter's away this week. So the problem I have is when you list Aaron or Tony or Dave Pallone and Hall, um, if you don't get them, then you're left with guys that don't know the horse as well, uh, don't know our horse as well. And then what kind of drive do you get? It's not their fault. It's really hard to put somebody up for the first time and ask them to drive horses. And then it's a learning experience for them, but it's a learning experience on our dime. So it's a, it's a problem for us. So, yeah. So um, I'm going to go there. 
on Wednesday. I suspect the week after you'll see Hunter back down to drive them. I don't think I need to be going there, over there all the time. But when we're sitting in a 28-day lockdown here in Ontario and uh, the guy who just drove our horse is good isn't there next week, it wasn't a real hard decision to make. So I'm going to head over, drive, yes, White Tiger and oh, so pine on Wednesday at the Meadows. And then I'll be coming directly back home. Uh, very happy with the way the babies have looked. We trained them for the first, you know, we trained in the open house, but that was the first day. That was the, that was the first day we went any speed with them. Uh, we trained them on Wednesday. Addy, mile like 250, 240. Uh, and I was very happy with the way that they looked. Uh, so it all starts. Really, you know, we're a little bit behind this year. Usually we'd have a few more drones in. We'd be training the horses pretty uh, a lot harder right now. Backed it up a little bit this year. Uh, I'm going to focus more uh, this spring on the health of the horse and making sure our horses stay healthy all the time. And if they're, fr if they're struggling with their health... Can you get her sucky for her, honey? If they're struggling with their health... Can you get her sucky for her, please? If they're struggling with their health, then we're gonna help them out in a different way. We turned procrastinator out for two or three weeks. We have a couple other horses where they've had some mucus, they've had some, some higher temperatures, and if that persists, then we're gonna turn them in also. So, uh, as you know, for many of you that have been with us for a long time, we change uh, according to the way, the way uh, that we need to. So, in the first year, you know, we did things differently than we did the year after the year after, even last year. And then again, we're going to change and implement different strategies as far as what we are going to do moving forward. The training stays the same. Um, the way that we train them, the, the frequency in which we do train them will stay the same. But if we have to tailor, as I said, if we have to tailor some training, some training activities differently for different horses, then we'll do that also. So again, uh, it's been a fantastic year. What was the highlight of my year? Jeez, it's a, I, you know what? Jazzy Judy was, a, I guess it was the most expensive win this year also for us. But Jazzy Judy was the highlight of my year. There was a filly that we bought just to see how things would go in Delaware. And then uh, watched that filly train down, had some struggling, struggled with some soundness issues, ended up breaking her knee, had a chip removed from her knee, rehabbed, hold on buddy, rehabbed, trained back down, and still won the final of the Delaware Sires. Uh, that was an incredible feat for that filly, and I was very, very proud of her and happy to experience with a number of partners. My Jazz winning on Jug Day, a Jugette Day, that was an incredible feeling. Um, and then the fair racing in Ohio was fun also. Watching James win with with uh, with uh, No Free Lunch in 51 was really cool. Just a great year. Building that relationship with the Twaddle Stables. In, uh, in Pennsylvania. We just continue to build out in a number of ways. We have Jim King now, who's who's become a, a pretty good ally of ours, a, a good trainer, a affiliate trainer, if you will, of ours in Delaware, Tim Twaddle in Pennsylvania, and uh, we have some horses right now with Billy Rhodes in Ohio. So lots going on. This year was different. If you stop and take a look at what we've accomplished and how we accomplished it, we built the stable out in a number of different ways that will uh, play a vital role for us moving forward. So a great year, even though it was a horrible year for life, 2020 on planet Earth, certainly was a good year for us, for you, for me, for my kids, for everybody affiliated and associated with the stable.ca in 2020. Let's keep it up and keep moving forward in 2021. Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care.